Hello, good afternoon and welcome to day 98 of the Mindfulness Challenge. Three more days to go because this is the 98th day. Tomorrow will be the 99th day and Saturday will be the 100th day. And I'm hoping to do something special on Saturday so we shall watch for that. Day 98, we're going to be talking today about how to cultivate a stable mind. Stability is something that really can help us form a foundation for us to be able to grow and create this flexible but sensible approach to our emotional experiences. So we're stable in our thoughts. You know, I always wonder sometimes when I hear um, doctors or on the news saying about somebody, but they're critical but stable. I think to myself, how could you be stable if you're critical? But you can be. You can be stable in all aspects of your life. But sometimes your life can be up and down. But we want that level of stability to, to ensure that it doesn't go any further. To ensure that, you know, we keep, we keep our emotions and we keep um, our experiences in track. We want to we want to feel grounded. We want to feel flexible. I said the other day that equanimity is so important in the quality of the ability to remain grounded, the ability to remain stable in the midst of any experience. So you might be suffering, you know some suffering you might be you might notice some suffering how do you how do you work with it how do you work with the traumas or the emotions or things we talked you know at length about you know the six people who and how to deal with people who are negative but how do you always respond with compassion so that you don't get knocked off balance and 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 by and by the unexpected or by whatever that then you get into this emotional tangle or turmoil cut it Cut the umbilical cord. Keep the equanimity with yourself. And with equanimity practicing, you can, you can cultivate, is the word I always like to use, a state of mind that is both grounded and flexible, especially in the midst of intense emotional experiences. Having the ability to Cultivate a grounded and flexible approach through equanimity. Being able to not attach ourselves or further add fuel to the fire is important. Because you see, that's what being mindful is all about. It's equanimity. And we're going to do a very short meditation. So if you close your eyes. And uh, I'm going to pop a picture up. And I just want you to find your posture, as we always do. It's day 98. And bring your awareness into your present experience. And just notice the sounds that are around you. The feelings in your body. And your overall state of mind. Open your awareness. And when something comes up, tune into it in your mind. Noticing um, where you might get knocked off balance slightly. Certain sounds, thoughts or feelings in the body may feel charged, pulling you from that calm state of mind. Picture somebody who has, you know, not been kind to you or has not made you feel good. But don't get knocked off balance. Stay certain with equanimity and breath. Sit with the awareness of your balance for a few moments. And conversely, just bring to mind someone you care deeply about and connect with your intention to care for this person. Recognise that although you may care for the person, you cannot control their happiness. But what you can do is you can offer a few phrases of equanimity. May you be happy. May you be in charge of your happiness. Your happiness is dependent upon your actions, not my wishes. May you be happy. May you be in charge of your happiness. Your happiness is dependent upon your actions and not my wishes. And I want you now just to switch 
to somebody else you cared about and try to find someone who is currently experiencing some pain or suffering. Connecting with your intention to care but remain stable. Offer these phrases of compassion and equanimity. May you be free from suffering. May you take action to care for your pain. Your freedom is dependent upon your actions, not my wishes for you. May you be free from suffering. May you take action to care for your pain. Your freedom is dependent upon your actions, not my wishes for you. And finally, just bring your mind to somebody in your life who has had some success or joy recently. And offer a few phrases of appreciative joy, staying connected again to your equanimity. May your joy continue. May you be in charge of your joy. Your joy is in your hands and is not dependent upon my wishes for you. May your joy continue. May you be in charge of your joy. Your joy is in your hands and is not dependent upon my wishes for you. Now, we've offered some phrases for people and I want you to return now to your own experience and recognize that your happiness is in your own hands. And be proud of your effort in practicing, encouraging, cultivating happiness for yourself. And you can say to yourself, may I continue with my joy. I am in charge of my happiness. And my happiness is not dependent on other people or their wishes. May my joy continue. I am in charge of my happiness. And my joy is not dependent on other people or the wishes of other people. It is in my own hands. And when you're ready, slowly wiggle your fingers and come back into the room. So we're talking here about, you know, how we can you know, keep a solid mind, how we can keep practicing equanimity. And that's important for so many reasons. And day 98 is about just trying to think about how we're after all this is finished, how we can keep it going. Maybe we start day one again, but how do we keep it going? How do we learn these tools to be able to use them and work with them in our everyday lives to help us have this happy, balanced spiritual life with clarity and purpose? Good afternoon, Julian. I love you. Or if I go to bed tonight, good night, Julian. I love you. Thank you for watching day 98. I'll see you tomorrow for day 99. God bless. Be love and give love. And I'll see you soon. Bye bye.